Hey beloveds, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kimora Thalian. If you're not, I don't have to say too much. Before we get into the video, I want to make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you know when there will be more content on my channel. Without further ado, let's get into the video. You believe so as you can tell by the title in this video i'll be doing like a chit chat get ready with me it's actually like it's 9 18 and i wanted to do this video like earlier like around five but i had a interview also this two days before thanksgiving so you know my mother's cleaning up doing everything clean up the whole house when guests is not even gonna be in that part of the house but i'm not even gonna hold you i'm feeling really sick like my nose is running i'm having like little dry coughs so if you see me with a tissue dab in my nose while i'm doing my makeup please do not mind that because i bet you that you're sick right now about two to three weeks ago i also asked people on my instagram snapchat to ask me some questions and a lot of y'all ask me the same questions but i really don't mind because you know i could get more in depth about what i'm talking about because y'all ask it in different ways so yeah let's get into the video well, i did my eyebrows off camera because that takes the longest and i really wasn't going to be talking i would have been so distracted talking while doing my eyebrows so let's get into the first question so the first question was uh, would you have kids in the future Yes, I would. I want kids, like, real bad. I see myself being a mother. Not now, of course, but I really see myself being a mother. I want to spoil my kids. I want to treat my kids how I want it to be treated, but not being too lenient on them. I feel like I will be a little slack on them when it comes to certain things, and I would definitely talk to my kids. I also want to be there for them. I don't want, I would never dismiss my kids. And when I say that is because growing up, I was always dismissed. When there was a problem, I was always pushed to the side. But you know, my stink don't want kids. And that's 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 just like beyond me. Because it's like, you don't want kids with me? But yeah. And that really goes into the next question. Which I already peeped was, am I in a relationship? They was like, are you in a relationship, Kimmy? Um, I'm not in a relationship, but I'm definitely talking to somebody right now. We're taking it slow this person is somebody that i actually see myself with i'm not even gonna hold you you know sometimes i do catch myself and i do pee myself moving a little too fast with this one person but i definitely have to like be like no kimura slow your roll you feel me you want this to last in my past relationships i just move so fast like and i want to make sure that however i move doesn't mess up what i want because you know if i don't get what i want i'm a brat i'm gonna start don't want to fit crazy thing is she calls me a brat and i don't have a problem with that but i feel like there's always a time and place for everything i feel like you shouldn't get out of character just because you want what you want and that's basically what i'm learning i'm learning how to react certain ways the next question is my dream job my dream job is for people to work for me point blank period and when i say that i'm basically saying i want to have a business i want to start a business i want to be an entrepreneur like i don't want to be working on nine to five i want to wake up look at my email and see bread is coming in just for me waking up just for me selling my creativity speaking of that i actually have a brand that i want to launch soon which is called Bienname Official. Bienname means beloved in French. That's basically what I'm working on. And that's my goal for myself in 2023 is to get my shit together and get Bienname Official started. The next one is really the same thing. What plans do I have for myself? Like I said, I want to be my own boss, but also I leave for the Navy soon. So I only want to do the Navy six years in and out. You know? It's not something I really want to do like other people where they're in there for like mad long. Like you retire when you're 89. No. Do I feel like I came a long way from where I was before? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I think about that every single day. I came so far. Like it came to the point where I was crying every night. I grew so much and I still have more growing to do. If you knew me from when i was what 15 16 17 
you was like nah this is not the same kimura not even like by looks but like mentality how i carry myself i did not know how to carry myself i was all over the place i was the type of girl that wanted to be in everybody's face because i didn't have no attention when i was at home and it was like all right so boom i'm about to be in school i'm being a bird Y'all, can you believe it's already 10 o'clock? It's been an hour since I've been doing my makeup and look how far. I still have a long way to go. If I could go back and change anything, what would it be? Y'all, <laughs> let me tell you something. <laughs> if I could go back in time and change back anything I would do, it would, when I went to high school and I went to Bullard Havens, who I hung around, like the company I was around because Lord have mercy, I was young. I didn't know what to do. I honestly felt like, like I said, I wanted to fit in. And that's one thing I would have done because as soon as that, boom, that's when everything struck me. I got kicked out of my house to live by my father. And after that, it was just a shit show. I was depressed. I was so sad. I honestly didn't have no real friends. I do have, I feel like I do have four or five real friends. And I feel like those are the real friends that I do not feel like I need to talk to on a daily because I feel like if I ever need to hit them up and be like, oh, hey, I need to talk, they're there to talk. You feel me? Next question is, have I ever been in love? And who was my first love? Well, like I said earlier, I didn't know what love was. I didn't know how to be treated. I didn't know who really loved me, who was really there for me. And then it came to the point when I was in a relationship I was so damn gullible. They was like, yeah, I'm in love with you. It was a lie because, you know, people lie. But there's people out there that really sit here and sell you dreams. And I actually want to live a dream. But I also want to stay in reality. Because now I'm realizing what love is. I'm 18. What was I doing 14 years old with a girl talking about something? Yeah, I'm in love with you. I'll be like, girl, shut up. Shut up. Like, you're making me cringe right now. Do I feel like I would be in love? Yeah. What made me start YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok? Um, I've always wanted to be a YouTuber back when, you know, I was younger. I wanted to make content. At first, I wanted to do, like, pranks. But then I was like, no, it's not the life I want to do. I don't really have, you know, friends around me to do pranks. I want to be by myself. I'm going to do something about self-care. I want to go out by myself and treat myself. I want to get my nails done. I want to get my hair done. I want to be that girl. That's who I want to be. And that's who I want people to see me as because that's what I want to do. How did I learn how to do makeup? Where am I going to post this? YouTube. YouTube and also my cousins. My cousin Jamelia, Khadija, and Isha. They really taught me how to do makeup. I used to watch them, especially like when my aunts and my mother was going to functions and my brother would be like, oh, I'm going down to Isha's house to get my makeup done. My cousin Khadija, she used to always do her makeup or I used to look at her pictures on Instagram and I like try to like draw, like do what she's doing. And then Jamelia, Jamelia's makeup was always full and she had that nice little light under eye. Then like I said, YouTube again, that was really my inspo and my go-to the worst sex experience y'all i was getting bit all right that's all i gotta say i was getting bit and it was just it wasn't it it wasn't it wasn't it and the next one is best sex experience ah! this is with the person i'm with right now <laughs> no lie like, everything is just so immaculate like the fingers the mouth everything let me, the person that I'm with really gets down. She know how to put in that work, y'all. Having me slump, like snoring. <sighs> Gone. The next question is, um, biggest turn ons and turn offs. I think I would answer this sexually and non-sexually. Turn on sexually, it's just you. I can't even say that because I would say that for non-sexual. Just being you for non-sexual is just going to turn me on. Like, you being yourself. Like, let me tell you something. Yo, y'all just... She's just so beautiful. Like, when I just be looking at her, I'll be like, damn. Like, you're just turning me on right now. And then turn offs is... I would say being friendly. You feel me? Like, you could have friends and whatnot. I can't. I cannot be jealous. But I feel like when you're too friendly and you feel like you're you're not, that's really going to turn me off. It's going to bother me because it's like I'm right in front of you. Even if I'm not right in front of you, you know you 
are calling me bae at the end of the day you know you are kissing me or whatever the case may be why are you being friendly to other people why are you commenting on other people's stuff why are you telling other people you know that you want to do this and that and the third with them it's really gonna bother me because it's like are you serious internal um sexually don't bite me <laughs> do not bite me like i said dealing with this new girl i don't ever have to worry about that she know what she be doing like cool jada and then turn on sexually is like when you take control like just take control you feel me all right beloved so this is the end of the video i really hope that you guys enjoyed make sure that you like comment share and subscribe to your post notifications like i stated in the beginning of the video so you know when there is more content on my channel so yeah everybody i will talk to you guys later bye beloved